but there it is. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Do not lose this one for me. We are back at it again, but this time with some really great news. I've decided to take a new path in life and start guiding. Decisions were made and I ended up at Sweetwater Guide School here in Montana. It is a seven day course where I will get to learn how to guide and then be able to provide guiding services in Western North Carolina and Northern Georgia. In this segment, I will be sharing my experience there with you guys. Whether this is your first time doing it or your 50th, I know you know a lot of jobs require it. It's always good to hear, and it's also really good to plant some seeds and and think about have some conversations about what could happen out there on a river trip if this if this guide school is going to take you guiding someday. So just start thinking about it along those lines, and I'm sure Rochelle's open to questions mm -hmm. related to that. Um, but yeah, once she finishes up, um, we got a lot of classroom stuff today. Uh, take a little break, um, uh, make some lunch, and um, uh, help yourself. We got all the sandwich fixings you need in there. If it looks like it's for a meal, don't you know? Don't make steaks uh, for lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, and then um, I put 12:30 up there, but we'll call it like a half hour ish after Rochelle's done. So don't go fishing or anything, and then we'll go right into our meeting. And what we'll do is try to get try to get through everything and fly time, so you guys can go out and go fishing this evening. Uh, I even told, I think I told Paul, if, if you flew in, I'll offer up, uh, you, you guys can, some of you can take my rig up uh, and go wait a spot. Um, so, yeah, that's all I've got. Rochelle, thanks for coming down. Rochelle runs a company called Montana Health and Safety um, and teaches classes like this and a bunch of cool other stuff uh, uh, if you want to ask her some questions. And, um, and she'll get you first aid CPR certified over the next uh, few hours, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, so like Corey mentioned, my name is Rochelle and I'll be your instructor for the next few hours today. I've been in healthcare for about 30 years and I've uh, been an instructor doing this for about maybe 19 or so years. Um, in 2019, I started a company called Montana Canine Safety. Um, and I've seen this like on social media and I travel all over the state doing classes, uh, pet first aid, CPR, but also wilderness canine care for people who spend a lot of time in the backcountry with their dogs. Um, and um, shortly after that, I started Montana Health and Safety as a parent company to that one. I've had other training companies in the past. I teach American Heart Association, ECSI, I'm a Stop the Bleed ambassador, and I um, teach a lot of wilderness first aid. That's really my favorite thing to do. Um, mostly I teach NASAR, and I teach all four of the emergency medicine programs that they have. So um, I'm grateful to be here today. Here we are getting CPR and AED certified. We will be dealing with a lot of people out on the water, so for safety measures, make sure you guys learn how to properly give compressions to an unresponsive person. Here are a couple of steps you can follow for giving CPR. One, hand position. Two hands center on the chest. Two, body position. Shoulders directly over hands, elbows locked. Three, depth. At least two inches when pressing down on chest. Four, keep the rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Five, allow chest to return to normal position after each compression. If a person isn't breathing or doesn't have a pulse, you need to perform CPR immediately. Make every second count because lack of oxygen can cause brain damage in only a few minutes. Call 911 and begin chest compressions and rescue breathing until the emergency services arrive. Stay safe out there. So one thing to watch out for always is the handle. And you're pushing the boat off and disengage this. I guess probably better. Sure, right? Yeah. Um, they really hurt, right? Yeah. We are finally hitting the river. Here we are being guided by Doc, a very experienced guide of over 20 years. Learned a lot from him while I was out there on the water. Oh. There he is, 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, get him into the soft water right. left. Well, he's fighting his fish. I'll give you another bobber. And to set the mood straight, Matt, a very talented individual, set us off with a stud of a brown on our first day. Don't let him fool you with the cowboy hat and the dip. Matt has such a big testimony and hopefully we can do a podcast together soon. Matthew had been in Montana for the past month, previously finishing hunting guy school before he started a week later fishing guy school. If that's not motivation, I don't know what else to call it then. Push up with both hands. You got to get him away from the gunnel there. There you go. There you go. You're good, man. One more time. Now you should be able to push his head up. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Came right off in the net, too. Dang. That well thing done. is nice. Oh, yeah, you did. Beautiful. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Lift him up real quick. Two hands better, but that's right. fine. But you don't need to be cast super far apart. Gotcha. So about like 10, 15 feet. Okay. That's out here killing it, man. So at the end, since we're fishing such long leaders, what I do is push up with my hands. Uh, I got oh, no, still on there. Because it's hard, you don't want to reach down up too far up the rod with your hand, you'll break it off. Does that make sense? Gotcha. So just push up like this, and then get his head up. What's the history behind that? So, back when it was uh, probably before they put the dam in, they put that in to prevent, you know, the runoff of the river from, you know, the way the bank. Okay. So basically, just rip wrap. I mean, they used to rip wrap back in the day. Gotcha. Finally, I got on some trout after watching Matt catch them all. I find it very exciting to be able to go to different rivers and try to figure them out. It is awesome to be able to find that pattern that's going to catch them. A little bit. And I'll just stand here when he's ready and put him right in the right in the Alright. I can't go in anymore. Yeah, you're good. Now you can kind of steer him. So you just okay. you know, keep your body. You got room to land a fish. You don't need to move all the way over to shore. You know what I mean? Oh, like, let's go. Good job, dude. My very first big horn brown. Before you hit the river, they teach you to tie some of the flies a lot of guides use on this river. One of my most productive fly for me was the Spanish bullet Perdigon. Apart from that one, we also used Ray Charles and Scudge. We fished a very long leader with a point fly and a secondary fly. Look at that. Look at that. I got it on video. <laughs> oh! Man, that's your fish. Nope. You gotta land it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, went right to the net like a real guy. Hey, I'm just a cameraman. Big shout out to Doc oh, for giving yeah. me this gem of a scene. Trying to teach us attention cast, his first cast produced a really nice brown. Sometimes, no matter how much you know, there's always something new to be learned. So always keep an open mind yeah, about but, everything. Um, Knowledge is power. Maybe I should do it in a less fishy spot. <laughs> oh, no, but, you're perfectly uh, fine. You want a picture of them? I'm good. There you want yeah. one? Well, no, it's, I guess it's my fish. No, I'm yeah, good. It is. I forgot. It's my, it's your rod, my fish. <laughs> right? I can just throw a little slack. And I'm just using line tension. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a roll cast. It's not a, it's not a back cast. I'm just trying to get the, I'm just, a lot of people will use it to like change their position of their, you know, of their casting or, you know, from the boat, changing, switching sides. Yeah. But on a weight fish, you can actually just use it as a cast. Okay. So I can actually even, I'll even let line shoot. Like if I have, if I have about, I'd say that's a rod length of line out, 10 feet. I can let go when I, when I finish my cast, watch, I'll just let go here. And I'll just shoot a little more line, right? All right.
There you go. Oh yeah, look how pretty. Yeah, look at the colors. Let's go. That's a bow. On this day, we took off to the lake to be able to learn how to navigate a jet boat. It was fun, learned a lot, and was able to do some streamer fishing for some smallies. And like always, I guess scenery struck. Beautiful scenery out on this lake. I don't think I can compare it to anything I've seen so far. Montana just keeps getting the better as time passes. Gotta remember to, to like strip it all the way in, you know, it's not just to that color change. That yep. makes sense? Yep. Um, and then, so, with this setup, if you're sitting here, oh, false cat, false cat, it keeps bad things happen, okay? The idea is I'm fishing this, I'm gonna strip it back to me, okay? And I'm going to try to load it up to false cast and get the timing down to shoot it out. Okay? Gotcha. Yeah, I just, I haven't seen you cast yet. No, you know, this is just showing you what I know. Absolutely. Same, same with you, Paul. Yep, same. But less is more here. There they go. Got to get the rod tip down there, man. It's hard to feel them. Ooh, keep, keep it, keep it. Quick ticks, quick ticks, quick ticks. Dang. Okay. Can you have eyes on that? Not yet. That's right there. There it is. I got it. Oh, right there. He's on it. He's on it. Yep, keep doing what you're doing. 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 Set it. Yeah. Let's go. Good work. Hell yeah. Just being here learning this new craft has been an eye opener. Not once did I ever imagine being miles away from home and fishing in a state that many wish to visit and fly fish. Four years ago to now, it's just not the same. Life changes, the world keeps revolving, and it doesn't stop for anyone. Always make sure to do something that makes you happy, smile, and gives you peace in your life and don't take anything for granted. I hope once I start guiding any of you guys, I can pass on some knowledge and positive experiences. As always, I wanted to take a moment to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be here and experience this. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 and 34 says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Strip, 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 strip. That's a big one. Keep doing that, keep doing that. Keep doing that, keep doing that. Big one, big one. Keep doing that. No, no, set, set. Let's go. Uh, up, up, up. Give him some more. Up, up. Bring him up. Up, up. Bring him up. Let's go. Yeah, that's a monster. He came from way down bottom. Yeah, he up. did. Yeah, that was a different fish that we're following, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was two small ones and then... Uh, Oh, and I got it on cam. Hell yeah. Let me see you. Good stuff, dude. Hell yeah, that's a good one. Are they right there? Thank you, sir. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, I got him. <laughs> Look, you caught the biggest one, caught the tiniest one. Maybe. Yeah? Let me get oh, one in there real quick. That's where you want to be. You got everything? Oh, look at that big one chasing. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> there you go. That was fun. Yeah. You remember those hand signals? I do. I mean, could you go over them with me yeah. real quick? Power up, power right. down. Yeah. Good to go. Good to go. Uh, a little bit of power. Okay. Okay. Uh, steering pretty easy. Okay. Uh, the big good. one is stop. That's this. Stop. Okay. Yeah. And now we learned to cast properly. Sweetwater Guy School provided us with a casting instructor. I was able to learn some new techniques and fix my casting as well. Oh yeah, and let's not miss my first funnel cloud. I thought it was pretty cool to experience that. Sally, my favorite doggo. Such an awesome dog to have on a journey like yours, Pat. One of the things that I learned from you was patience. There's always something to be learned even if things don't go your way. This day was one of my hardest fishing day on this river. They're native here, yeah? Yep. I want to catch one native fish. What he hit? I will hook fish left and right, but I just kept loosening them. I became yeah, frustrated, yeah. but kept my cool and kept trucking. No, he got off. Here we are, Bighorn River. Got the boss man. Rowing us down the river. Here's where things get interesting. It will be my first time behind the oars of a drift boat. I became nervous, but having a very knowledgeable instructor like Pat gave me a peace of mind. I was able to get the hang of it and putting them on fish in no time. Rowing a drift boat is definitely a process. I suggest any beginner to get as much time on a river and practice. Safety first. Yes, sir. It's a nice rainbow. All right. Oh, you gone. All right, here goes. Yes, sir. Oh, it's pretty. This day was one of my most productive day for me and Matt. Matt catching his personal best wild rainbow trout, measuring at 22 inches. And me, you see? but I'll let you guys watch the rest. Oh, that's a massive brown, dude. This is, this is a rainbow, but that, uh, uh, that brown I call Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a rainbow. Dude, that thing is massive, Matt. You can call him 22. <laughs> that's your biggest, huh? Biggest. Yeah. On you? Yeah, yeah. Here you, you go. You always get a good like this, so you don't obscure them. Put that Ready? Ready? Yeah. It felt good to be able to put all the puzzle pieces together from everything I had learned in and out of the classroom. I felt like I was able to execute properly. And being able to watch and learn from Callan how he did things helped me greatly as well. Let's go. Fish on. Nice. Oh, that's a nice brownie. Oh, 
a butterball. I'll get him out of the fast water real quick. No, he got off. Go. There we go. Yep. Hook sets are free, but the flies aren't. Either way, keep tension because you might just have a fish on the other end of your line. I thought I had snagged a bunch of muck, and as you can see, at one point I'm like, nope, and lose some of my tension until I oh, saw the belly of the rainbow trout. I, have a fish I got lucky to have been able to land this one. <laughs> Yeah, just hold the net real quick, please. Hold the net? Yeah, yeah. He, he hit that worm. Let's go. I just wanted to inform you guys that on July 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be doing a live podcast with the program director of Sweetwater Guy School, Corey Koff, here on the channel. Let's Make go. sure you guys tune in and share the podcast if you guys can. Any questions that you guys have, Corey and I will be glad to answer. Hope to see you guys there. The fashion tail. That thing is killer. Dude, you gotta take a picture of me with this beauty. Land it. Land it. The last day could not have came any sooner than it did. It was just Monday, but here we are, Friday morning, and it's time to get out on the water and guide the instructors. Alec did a good job landing some nice browns, but let me tell you, I've never had someone tangle me so many times in one trip. But hey, even though he was the instructor for the day, he treated oh. us like he paid us good money and he wanted yeah, to catch all dude. the fish in the river. Not only can he fish, but he can food. definitely throw down in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm definitely hiring him for my anniversary that's coming up. It was awesome to meet you, man, and great job Dude. on executing your role professionally around your peers. Got it. Yes, sir. Photo or video? Photo, please. Ready? Ready? Yep. Ah, that's pretty. Let's do it. There it is. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Do not lose this one for me. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's go. Yes, sir. I hope you guys enjoyed this film. It was awesome to be able to finish strong and get my certificate. I encourage any veteran or anyone that is interested in guiding to attend a guiding school. I was fortunate enough to have been able to attend Sweetwater Guide School. I learned a lot of knowledge and that is going to help me in the near future. I will be offering guided trips here in Western North Carolina and Northern Georgia. I will keep you guys posted on the subject through my socials. Make sure you guys click the link in my about section here on the YouTube channel. It will take you directly to my Instagram, Facebook, and now even TikTok. Now subscribe to the channel, share it, and hit the like. Peace, love, and tight lines. God bless.